Hello, welcome from Tanzania. Another video from us, Makasa Safaris in Tanzania. And this time I would like to talk about how does a typical safari day look like? It is a common question and of course I am the whole day busy answering uh, all emails of people who would like to come to Tanzania and a lot of people when I talk about safaris and game drives are like but what is actually a game drive and how does that go? So sometimes I forget how, uh, yeah, for me how normal that already is but when you have never been to Tanzania you wonder like how does that day look like when you're on safari? So this video um, we're going to talk a bit more about that and I want to explain a bit more about you uh, about how a safari goes and what you can expect without going into the details of each park because of course that is different but like the general uh, day of a safari and a game drive so when you book a safari uh, in Tanzania usually it's a few days um, sometimes a week or a bit more uh, and then you make like a round trip to through different parks and um, so each park is a bit different um, but you can uh, you can say that yeah each safari day uh, looks like yeah, you start early in the morning and uh, you end at the end of the day obviously and how do you exactly fill in those days that is what we're going to discuss in this video so when you're on safari in tanzania usually you have the same guide for all the safari days so that's nice because then you get to know each other a little bit and uh, the guide gets to know your interests a little bit more and based on your interests and your itinerary he can advise on how to how your days look like exactly um, usually you will start in the early morning so uh, going on safari is definitely not for those who want who like to sleep in because uh, the earlier the better we always say and um, Gomi and myself we are very early risers very much morning persons so we are always out there at 6 a.m. Um, that is not for everyone and you don't have to be out early but it is true that the earlier you're going on safari in the morning the more usually you will see because uh, in the morning it's not so hot yet for the animals and the animals are more active still from the night so um, and of course it's also very special and magical to uh, see the sunrise so uh, usually you want to get out there at quarter to six six o'clock you can start driving and uh, yeah see the beautiful sunrise for example in Serengeti National Park that is amazing and it's it's almost like yeah magical because the whole park is still so quiet and there are not many other cars around so um yeah those early morning hours they, those are beautiful and then you can also uh yeah if you're then finding a lion or maybe still a lion hunting even because it's still the morning hours they, uh, they it, the rest of the day they get more lazy then uh, there are not many cars around and you just feel like wow uh, then suddenly it's 10 o'clock in the morning and you feel like you have had a whole day already behind you and you still have a whole day to look forward to so early morning game drives is definitely recommendable um, we do also realize that it's a holiday for uh, for a lot of people so uh, people also like to enjoy their breakfast and have a bit of a slow start so some people will uh, not get up so early and maybe start at 8 or 9 o'clock and then start their grain drive but if you are an early bird yes use it because you will see a lot more in those morning hours so this is where it gets a bit flexible uh, you can start at 6 o'clock in the morning driving out of your accommodation and seeing all the wildlife you can also start at 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock this is what you're you will discuss with your guide the evening before so every evening there will be a briefing and you will discuss with your guide the possibilities. Um, everything is possible. So often a guide will say, what do you like and what do you want to see? Uh, it's good to know then that this early morning is an option because early morning game drives are very special. So I recommend to do it at least once during your safari, especially in Serengeti and also in Ngorongoro Crater actually, to really go early into the park and start your game drive. Then your game drive i'm talking about game drive that means that you are with your jeep actually going to spot and look for the animals so a game drive is uh yeah not more than driving around in your jeep and um, with the roof open so you will stand around and you will just look around and see if you see anything interesting if you can spot any wildlife um, and then you will spend time with the wildlife you're seeing so sometimes if you if you see uh, lions mating or a rhino in the distance then you will 
park the car and look at them and sometimes you can come a bit closer or sometimes you just stand there and have a coffee watching them so that is um, yeah what what is the fun thing about the whole the whole safari that you don't know what you're gonna see and it's all like the more time you have the more sorry a fly um, the more time you have, uh, the, 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 the more likely it is that you see a lot of diversity and a lot of different wildlife in the parks. So then after your early morning game drive, yeah, the day goes on, of course. And usually if you have left your accommodation at like 5.30 or 6 in the morning already, it is possible to take a breakfast box with you. So your guide usually will arrange this for you. and. Um, with a breakfast box it just means that you basically have a breakfast to go in your car so once you're at a nice sighting around 7 or 8 in the morning you will open your breakfast box and enjoy your breakfast in the bush so once you're past the morning hours um, you will just keep around uh, keep uh, driving around in the park and looking for beautiful things you will you will realize that time flies on safari so it seems like a very yeah a long time in the car but before you know it it is uh, it's 12 in the afternoon and then uh, your guide will slowly look for a nice lunch spot and then you will have your picnic lunch there so usually um, you bring lo lunch from a picnic lunch from the lodge you have slept the previous night so in the morning your guide arranges this all you don't have to take care of that but our guides do and um, they take the lunch box with them and you will have a nice picnic lunch in the park and then you will uh, after lunch you will make another game drive so look for more wildlife and then towards the end of the day the light will get very nice again because you're getting that nice afternoon light um, late afternoon light and then the sun goes down and you will still see a bit of the sun setting which is incredible in Serengeti National Park and then we'll, you will get back to the lodge. Now this is a bit of a scenario when you have like a 6 a.m. morning game drive till 6 p.m. in the evening, so a full day. Now there are people who love that, who are immediately already while, while booking, they already know that we want to get everything out of there what we can and we want to be from 6 in the morning till 6 in the evening. We want to be on the road and spotting the animals and everything. There are also people who want to take it a bit more easy and that is also fine so you can also decide to what i said start a little bit later just have a nice breakfast at the lodge and go out around 8 or 8 30 and then go with your picnic box and be back at the lodge uh, between four and five or something and then still have a nice sundowner at the lodge so have a nice cold drink there and watching the sunset from there um, or you can have an early morning game drive go back to the camp or the lodge for a hot lunch we say so that means basically a lunch at the lodge so not a picnic lunch but a hot lunch um, and then have a little rest and go out again in the afternoon so you have different types of how your um, safari day might look you have people who want to be the full day in the car you have also people who want to be a few hours in the car have a hot lunch at the camp and then go out again um, to the park. So these are different ways to fill your day. You also can have some, most of the people actually who book with us, we do advise like three nights in Serengeti. So you have two full days there, and then you could do one day, the one uh, planning and the other day, the other planning. Um, it also depends if you're traveling, for example, with small kids, it might be nice to do a hot lunch at the camp. So you have a little bit of break from the long hours in the car. Um, but it, it completely depends on how you like to travel. So of course it is, it's the truth that when you go from six in the morning till six in the evening, you will see the most because you're the whole time out there. You don't lose time by driving back and forth to the camp. Um, although those drives to the camp are, can also be very interesting because wildlife is everywhere, so also close to the camp. Um, but it, of course, when you're out there for 12 hours, you will have a higher chance of seeing a lot. So those who are going out there for full days, they will definitely see a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, but even if you do it with a little break, you, can, you still see a lot. I mean, parks like Serengeti, there is so much wildlife. So that is, it's, we have never had the complaint that people did not see enough. So that's a good thing to know. So then at the end of the day, you are back at your accommodation and then you have dinner there. There is not other, another place to have dinner. So you will always have your evening meal in the accommodation where you're sleeping that night. 
and then usually safari nights are early nights early off to bed so you'll eat around 7 7 30 in the evening have your uh, nice uh, dinner together and then uh, you will make a plan with your guide for the next day how that will look and then you will slowly go to your room and shower and uh, and sleep so that you can have the next morning and again an early game drive maybe at six in the morning so this is a bit how a typical um, game drive looks this is a bit also yeah it's a bit the scenario when you're inside the serengeti and when you have a few days then you can also be flexible with the planning some people have a shorter safari and maybe only have one or two days uh, in serengeti then of course there's not much choice and then i would advise to take everything out of uh, out of it and just go from uh, early morning to evening and also when you're driving um or sorry when you're visiting for example tarangir national park or lake manjara national park which are a bit the smaller parks usually you only stay one night so then of course you also have you might have still the transfer from Arusha to the park and you only have the afternoon so then you don't have these options of hot lunch back in the camp or so then it's just you always travel with a picnic lunch and the guide will find a nice spot but these are all logistics where you don't have to worry about while booking the safari because our guides do that while you're here and um, it's just I think good to know when you're booking the safari what are the options and how actually does a day look like so I hope this video gave you a little bit more information about how a safari day looks. Um, I guess it's still, when you have never done it, it's still hard to really picture it. And sometimes you just also have to let that go and let it just all happen while you're here. And the good thing is that if you book with a, um, with a good safari company, you always have a professional guide with you who will guide you um, along these things and who will also explain to you all the different options so while you're here you can still make those uh, plans but for sure when you're visiting Serengeti try to spend a few more nights there so that you can also uh, experience the different ways of doing a safari so with the full days in the park but also with sometimes a nice lunch back at the camp so you can enjoy all different styles of safari and uh, thank you for watching. I hope you uh, this was an informative video about uh, how a safari day looks like. And if you have more questions, just drop us an email or comment below the video and I'm happy to get back to you. And uh, of course, we hope to see you in Tanzania. Bye, greetings from us.